Hello and welcome back to trick number 34. Can you believe it? And it is my 600th upload of a video on YouTube. Unbelievable. So I thought let's do something special. Let's do one of the routines I actually use in one of my shows. And just a quick question before we start. How's the crime where you live? You know where I live the guys are really fast. And if I say fast, I'm a cyclist. I cycle every morning and I'm a polite cyclist. I put my arm out when I turn. The other morning I did that and my watch was gone. <laughs> no more watches. Yeah, so this is how fast they are. Now, also where I live, it's a rough area. You don't go out after four o'clock in the afternoon. The crime rate, unbelievable. And the other day my wife said to me, Late at night, just before the shops close, we've got to get bread and milk for the kids. I'm like, damn, but it's dangerous to go out. And she twisted my arm, so off I went, you know, driving, and halfway I get a flat wheel. And that's a high stress situation. So I'm busy changing the wheel, I'm looking around as quick as I can. Now if I say a truck of a man, about seven trucks huge, appears out of nowhere, and while I'm changing the wheel, starts opening the bonnet of my car, and I'm like, I get up, I push my chest out, I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And he shouts at me, hey, if you're taking the wheels, I'm taking the battery. <laughs> Never mind. So I just made it to the local shop just before they closed, got the bread and milk, and as I walked out, I bump into this chap. He's got 634 stitches on his head. 634, yeah. He was wearing a balaclava. Uh, a balaclava, it's stitched. Look, if I have to explain them, forget about it, right? So he comes up to me and he goes, Oi, do you see any cops around? So I'm like, No. So he went, Stick them up. <laughs> Don't laugh. That's terrible. There you stand with a gun in your face. What do you do? And he's like, Give me all your money. So um, I had my wallet on me, but I, I just spent a lot on bread and milk. So I had maybe 10 euros left and he saw my business card and he said, give that as well. I'm like, what, are you coming again? These chaps are so forward nowadays. So he takes the 10 euros, he takes the money, he doesn't put it in his pocket, very really clever, he puts it into the balaclava like that. And luckily that evening, I just had my wedding band on, no watch or anything else, it had been stolen. And he saw that, he said, give that as well. Now, hmm. You can take pretty much anything, but my wife's not going to understand me coming home without a wedding ring. I don't even know if it comes off anymore. And you can see it's a pretty big ring. By the way, gentlemen, have you ever bought your wives a mood ring? Do you know what a mood ring is? That's that big stone on the ring. When your wife is in a good mood, the stone is green. And when she's in a bad mood, it leaves a red mark on your forehead. <laughs> You know those stones, okay, right. So those rings, so here we go. So I take that ring, he wants it as well. So again, he doesn't put it into his pocket. He takes it and he puts it into his balaclava like that, off he goes. But he makes one mistake. He doesn't realize that I'm a magician because when he got home, all he did is he opened up his balaclava and there was nothing in there. I got home, I took my wallet out and of course my 10 euros and, whoops, there goes my business card, was still there. But the best of all is my ring was still on my finger over there. <laughs> that was trick number 34. I'll see you again next week. Cheers.